Bailey Riley. Um, I guess I'm an occupant. Mm. Okay, great. All right, what, what happened today at the courthouse? Who had hearings and what were they having hearings for? Uh, today was uh, hearings for the December 1st trials, the 29 arrests. There was only, I want to say, at least seven, oh, seven people who had hearings today because they haven't all been consolidated. They were just uh, two judges together in the same courtroom with seven different people. In which, which people? Um, <clears throat> Ronnie Williams, Dylan Wallace, Carrie Welsh, Derek English, Betty Jo and Delicato, uh, Elizabeth Toms, um, Billy Livesey, I feel like I'm forgetting some people. And all of those people were arrested on the night of the, of the first, first of yeah. December in, in the uh, Riverfront Park? Yes. What were the what were these hearings like? What were they what were the issues that were being heard and um, were there any results? Um we had a quote unquote hearing, I mean a lot of times, you know, people will say hearing as far as like a blanketed term for any sort of disposition, deposition, trial, but that's not the case. Today was like an actual hearing hearing based on whether or not um, the ordinance and statute that we were arrested under um, by the city of Tampa, whether or not those were constitutional or not in these instances. Our, our lawyers had filed motions to dismiss, uh, dismiss all of our cases based on the fact that they were unconstitutional in these instances. So we went to trial today, or try, trial, we went to hearing today uh, to talk about basically and hash out whether or not in this instance uh, these two statutes were constitutional or not. So there was there was an ordinance and there was a statute. Um, I can't think of exactly the numbers, but they were basically they were both trespassing um, trespassing laws that we were that we were breaking. And then one of them was whether or not the police had the authority to actually arrest us under these laws. Um, so as far as that goes the judges and our lawyers basically just hashed that out while we were in the room uh, talking about whether or not they were constitutional or not um, you know based on precedents based on other issues as far as constitutionality goes and um, the judges didn't really make a case as you know they didn't make a statement as to whether or not they believed they were constitutional or not i think they were very much playing devil's advocate just so you know they could get uh, some sort of balance going on but they haven't decided yet as far as making it public goes um, and then we had one actual non-jury trial set for today, which is Betty Jo and Delicato, and hers was set for right after the hearings that we had. So um, her case was, was heard after that, and it had been set today, but the state prosecutor, you know, this is right after, subsequent to the judges not making a decision publicly, um, the prosecutor had said that they weren't ready to go to a non-jury trial, even though the state was supposed to, this is the day that it was set for. And basically, uh, the judge just said, okay, Betty Jo, your case is dismissed. So Betty Jo's case was dismissed, and you know, subsequent to them not making a decision, um, I think a lot of people are under the impression that you know, maybe because her case was dismissed, and again, this isn't set in stone or anything, you know, that maybe all 29 of ours will be dismissed under you know, unconstitutionality. Um, which is interesting because we had a bunch of other cases under the same ordinances you know, on individual instances. Um, like Becky Rubbright, her case was dropped and several other people were dropped for trespassing, not on the 1st of December, um, you know, whereas the 1st was a little, a little different because it was a mass arrest, so that was just interesting. So what's next? Are there other hearings in the future? Yeah. Um, I know I actually have uh, a trial, not a trial, I have a, a hearing for the same thing that was today. Actually, I just have a different judge. So my hearing for the motion on the constitutionality of my instance is on Monday morning at 8.30. Um, and I'll be going at that time, I think, with one other person, one other defendant is going to be there as well. Um, so I have that, and that's going to be basically the same thing that happened today, um, but maybe a little quicker because, you know, we already have some sort of precedent from the two judges today. Um, and then we actually set some dispositions for some of the people who had um, their hearings today for this for this motion. So we have dispositions set for the 11th of April at uh, 8.30 a.m. and then the 26th of April.